Hey everyone, Zirjid here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to do a quick taste of Aiden in Danger, a game where you play as an elf boy who was born with the ability to kill stuff with a slingshot. No, really, that is actually part of the story. He has the magical ability to murder the uh, bejesus out of stuff with a normal slingshot, which I'm not 100% sure about. I've seen a bunch of gnarly YouTube videos of people doing stuff with slingshots, and of course I have seen Philo Goes West. Uh, other than that, you are tasked with guarding a dragon who then gets kidnapped by a spooky scary skeleton from another dimension and you set off to uh, save him. Uh, so far this game hasn't been that difficult. I am on level 10, I have defeated a boss, uh, and most of the enemies I have been fighting are uh, poor little woodland creatures like snakes, dragonflies, giant wasps, uh, terrible creatures wearing masks that walk back and forth. I guess it's not really just run-of-the-mill forest creatures. Joking aside, it really not that difficult uh, and we're gonna hop on into level 10 here every time you do warp in through a magical uh, warp pad there uh, but yeah here's this slingshot I was talking about earlier uh, yeah he, he really does like fire it fast and seems to have unlimited ammo so I'm gonna go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt but if you look at the upper left there I have my health if I take two hits I have to restart from a checkpoint or the entire level uh, and next to that is my croissant button when I push this button it gives me a nice tasty croissant it's actually the roll button. I, I don't see how that's supposed to indicate a roll. It really does just look like a croissant to me. I don't know. I'm, meh, whatever. Uh, under that, I have my coins. You get to 100 coins. You are able to then uh, get a life. Uh, I have 23 lives, as you can see, because I haven't died once. You also get lives from collecting all the three crystals in a level. But uh, I've actually kind of started to avoid the coins and maybe grab the crystals. You've seen that I've somehow have gotten them on all the other levels, but I'm not going out of my way to get all of them. Uh, and as I run, I have this super confident stride, and for some reason, this sprite reminds me of the hobbits from uh, Lord of the Rings. No idea why. Yeah, but we are now in this uh, jungly area here, and I'm gonna kill this snake, and then this mushroom, who are probably just minding their own business, and I'm just being a terrible, terrible elf person. I also want to point out that uh, these creatures are the same size as me, so either these are giant, giant creatures, or I am a very tiny elf. I'm assuming that I am a uh, very young elf boy, and these wasps are not man size and very upsetting. Uh, but uh, it's not, it's, sadly, it's not uh, true, but when I run around, it actually looks like I have a pompadour. Uh, but the. Uh, the uh, sort of art for this game shows otherwise that you just have normal, uh, normal, uh, normal hair. I don't like these snakes. They uh, come back at you. Gotcha. I also like that their eyes bug out when you kill them. Maybe you're just knocking them out. Uh, you probably already guessed it. If you roll, you have invulnerability. Can I jump? Okay, cool. I do appreciate games like this where if you uh, jump and land on something, it automatically grabs onto it. I, I really do like that. Who sharpened this tree above me? Oh, I was not paying attention. I was looking at the tree. So I actually do need to get to a uh, checkpoint. Oh, nope, I have a little heart right over here. Uh, one thing that this game does that I really, really do not like is that if there is a secret area, it marks it with a giant star on the wall. So this isn't a secret area because otherwise there'd be a, a, a star right here. So it's not a secret, they're just literally telling you where it is. See, like, that's not a secret. Whoa, hello. Whoa. I was not... Uh, expecting him to be that aggressive, but we haven't had anything that aggressive from since the uh, the angry uh, uh, ravens. They had little curse bubbles above their head, like like the little like like random letters and stuff like that they would use in uh, games to be like, oh, he said a bad word, and then they would dart down at you. Oh, another life. Oh, coins. One more coin and I will get another life. Oh, we're good. Yeah, you go back over that way. Gotcha. Uh, for those curious about achievements, they're actually not that hard. The hardest one I got uh, was get 10 gems in a row. And that was only hard because uh, I didn't actually, after the first two levels, I kind of stopped collecting the gems. And I had to go back and get... 10 in a row. 
And the last one I got was actually funny enough, uh, there's an achievement for getting to the first boss and then defeating the first boss. And of course, those were the last two that I got. Come on. Dang it. There we go. Might be the first time I died in the I die in this game. Can I stand on these? Yes, I can. That bee got really close. Wasp, actually. Man, if wasps were that big, it'd be very upsetting. Oh, dang it. He got me. You want to see something scary, look up Japanese hornets. Those things are gigantic and it's deeply upsetting. So yeah, that is literally my first death in this game. And that's because of these spikes wanted to be uh, a bit of a jerk. Luckily, the levels aren't, like, terribly, terribly, terribly long or anything like that. And I'm about to instantly replace that life. Gotcha. Oh, there's just a gym here. Why? Who knows? Gosh, that hornet... You know what that hornet reminds me of? The hornets in Donkey Kong. How they circle. Gotcha. See, now i got to be on the watch uh, for those red snakes because they know how to double back and go up and down ledges. You thought you were safe. Now the enemies can ledge. Can I push this? Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, his eyes bug out. That's really funny. Look at these pretty flowers. Oh, checkpoint. Oh, also, listen to this sound. That kind of sounds like uh, the sound when Sonic gets an air bubble. Whoop, dang it. I mean, I could go back and get that heart, but we are already way too far away. <laughs> oh. There's the gem. And I instantly already have my life back. Yeah, th th that totally reminds me of this, the hornets that would circle in Donkey Kong and make me very upset because, uh, no joke, uh, I had a massive fear of hornets when I was younger because uh, when I was younger, I accidentally stepped on a hornet's nest. I guess that's just kind of a rational fear because they're stingy, stingy, stingy jerks. Oh, checkpoint, let's go. We'll finish this level and I will let you all go. It's the most I've died in this entire game. And I like that it doesn't actually matter that I've died because where I died, I'm just gonna get my life back. Shoot the treasure chest, get dim coins. I will say that I am happy that this game actually uses coins. I really do not like games that like, hey, here are these coins. Collect them. Why? Collect them. Like, don't don't give me something to collect if it doesn't do anything. Oh, and I was right at the finish as well. Well, there you go. I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Any questions, comments, or anything down below? Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Hold on. Uh, I think... I think it's level six. I can't remember if the boss was a crab or a giant crawfish. I wanna... I wanna... Oh! He got me. These little uh, mouse guys who are essentially the light version of the rats from Vermintide. Oh, those are the jerk crows. Ah, see? They get all pissed off. Alright, we're good. They curse at you, they go, ka ka ka! Which is something in crow that I can't actually repeat without being uh, demonetized. Oh, 
Oh, and there's another life. I like that it's not only just a uh, falling block, it's a falling block with spikes on the bottom. Why? Because... I believe this is the level with the boss on it. But yeah, one of the achievements is to kill all crows in one of the levels. Oh, I wish I should have. I could have. Should have picked a level that has a. Uh, yeah, here's the boss. I should have picked a level that has the uh, quote unquote secret. I don't know what that is. That kind of looks like crawfish, but it kind of looks like one a mud bug or something like that. But he shoots fire. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's from Australia because I know that all the creatures in Australia are super gnarly. That is a funny sound, by the way. And I beat him. Got another life, and off we go. So there you go. Uh, I am ZeroJD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much for joining. Have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone. Take it easy.